discussion on the topic Eskari Zinobikovic and I am Sabina Bozumek and these are my two members. Uh, good morning everyone, I am Amisha Dukuna. Hello everyone, I am Gracie Karki. Hello everyone, I am Yuga Thapa. Morphology, life cycle, pathogenesis, prevention, treatment, and diagnosis. So, uh, introduction part. Uh, Ascaris is uh, also known as roundworm. The common name of Ascaris is roundworm, of course, and it is an intestinal infection. Uh, it affects the intestine of uh, animals uh, or humans. It is mostly prevalent uh, in the uh, African and Southeast uh, Asian countries like Pakistan, uh, Nepal, India, of course, and uh, it is caused due to the poor sanitation uh, and poor hygiene, as well as uh, when the crops are irrigated with uh, irrigated with uh, waste water or the water that is mixed with drainage or the water that is mixed with other waste materials and then uh, when the crops are grown in those waste water the uh, chances of the worm growing in that crops is more. Um, over 1 billion people are infected with the Ascaris and over 60,000 people are people die annually due to this disease. So here you can see the picture of Ascaris and morphology. Ascaris and are, um, you can see this is a female Ascaris and this is male Ascaris. Female Ascaris are com comparatively thicker than the male Ascaris and it is uh, longer, about 20 to 40 centimeter in length and about uh, 2 to 4 mm in diameter and male are um, small in size, about 15 to 31 centimeter long and they are pointed in their, they are pointed in their tips, they are curved in their tips, sorry, and female are pointed in their tips and uh, male, female have uh, their reproductive uh, opening at the third, third posterior end. Um, so this, this was the morphology part and so further more explanation I would like to welcome my friend Amisha. Uh, so, uh, talking about the life cycle, um, the life cycle of Ascariosis lumbricoids it completes in a single host, that means us human beings. So this is a diagram representation of uh, how Ascaris is, um, is is in our body and how it gets uh, transmitted throughout our body. <coughs> So there are five stages in life cycle of Ascaris lumbricoids. So the very first stages is eggs in uh, faces. So we all know faces is the waste matter. Um, and uh, sexually mature female produces as many as two lakh eggs per day, which is quite in a large amount. And uh, which are shed along with faces in a uh, membranated form. So a uh, membranated form is also known as um, egg form, egg form. So uh, firstly, they're not infected. So the second stage includes development in soil. Um, embryonization is um, is the formation of uh, embryo within an egg. So uh, in soil uh, there is optimum temperature of 20 to 25 degrees Celsius with moisture uh, with sufficient moisture and O2. Uh, infected larva develops within the eggs in about three to six weeks. Uh, stage three includes human infection and liberation of larvae. Uh, liberation mainly means um, uh, is spreading out. Yes. You won't get infect, infection with ingestion of embryonated eggs, contaminated food, and water. So one of the main reason, uh, the reason that uh, Ascaris is not recoiled is. In, uh, it gets transmitted in our body is due to uh, contaminated food and as well as water. Um, within embryonated state inside the egg, first stage larvae it develops into a second stage of larvae. Second stage of larvae is also known as rapidity form, a uh, rapidity form larvae. So second stage of larvae it is uh, stimulated to hatch out by the presence of alkaline pH, which is in sol uh, small intestine and sol solu solubilization of its uh, outer. Layer it is binding by. 
So the fourth stage includes migration of larvae through the lungs. Um, hatched out larvae penetrates the intestinal wall and it is carried to the liver through the pores of circulation. So um, first it penetrates to the intestinal wall and then it gets carried out to the liver. Um, it then travels by blood to the heart. So one of the uh, main transmission it is also due to the blood uh, from the blood to the heart and then to the lungs and um, by pulmonary circulation within four to seven days of infection. The larvae in uh, lung molds twice and it enlarges and then it finally breaks into the alveoli. So uh, this is the final stage, um, the final stage to which as here lung records, it is transmitted in our body. Uh, Re-entry to the stomach and then to the small intestine. From alveoli, the larvae in touch passes uh, up to the bronchi and then into the trachea and finally it gets swallowed. Uh, the larvae passes down the oesophagus to the stomach and then it is reached into small intestine. So small intestine is also the normal habitat of Ascaris and it uh, finally colonizes here. Uh, within intestine, parasites spawns twice and then it uh, matures into an adult woman. Warm, sorry. Sexual maturation occurs within uh, six to ten weeks, and mature female finally discharges its egg into um, intestinal lumen, and it gets excreted along with the faces. So wherever there's hole in our body, it gets excreted out through those parts. So the lifespan of parasite is uh, 12 to 18 months. So I would like uh, my friend to discuss about pathogenesis. Thank you. So pathogenesis basically uh, it is the process of development of a disease and a manner of development of disease. So it is uh, quite related to its uh, life cycle in itself. So let me just briefly describe again. So uh, first, ma, I'm really as carries the milk, it's called say, I'm just about to have a side fecal material ma pines, right? So but fecal material ma egg why? Because it is not infected. So you can see that soil ma hunsa. The fecal the eggs is soil ma puksa ani after 18 days it gets infected and when we inject that uh, infected egg the embroidered egg uh, uh, then then the life cycle starts from there and so uh, when we when we uh, in, uh, inject or uh, what do we what do we say when we have ingest the uh, infected uh, or embroidered egg in our body so tuji about about say um blood kiri do it on my intergarsa you know to, through the blood stream and it about uh, say liver heart masi intergarsa this uh, it goes to the uh, enters the pulmonary cycle and it, it, it uh, they after entering the pulmonary cycle uh, symptoms like cough uh, say addictions uh, and uh, when we when we have symptoms like coughing uh, we usually you know uh, Cough, I and mean, there are many, three types of people who <laughs> who uh, like uh, split out you know, or blew out or just inhale or just uh, what do we say uh, digest it right. So um, it gets back into the small intestine and there uh, there the uh, ascaris grows to be a female worm or a male worm. I this uh, when it gets uh, when it when it grows to be a female or a male uh, librocoids. Um, then they, the female ones, they uh, start producing eggs, and uh, that's how we, our body gets infected. And it when it grows, uh, grows and grows, the number of the uh, ascaris grows due to the uh, due to the presence of female. Uh, as my friend said, it can uh, give, it can lay an egg of about two lakh per day. So but you see, it is a massive amount of ascaris in our body. So you see, they need how much zana saksar. The whole intestine can be blocked as well. So that's a very block is unique. Currently, so we might face different problems like back pain, you know. And um, it can also transfer to uh, parts like other other dots and um, also to the appendix. So we can we have to face many problems due to that too. And uh, as again my friend said, it can again uh, due to the huge number of scaries, it can again. Uh, excrete out from the whole uh, like uh, it can also come out from our nose or anus or eyes so parts like those uh, it can excrete out from there so any uh, 
तस्पर्शी वी कैन सी कि यो डिजीज से वी कैन मोस्ट फाइंड इन द चिल्ड्रन बिकॉज़ यो डिजीज से देर इस कंटैमिनेटेड पर्सन कंटैमिनेटेड फूड और थिंग्स वाले जो सॉर्ट यो पर्सन टू पर्सन सॉर्ट है ना सो बेसिकली बच्चा आ रहा है जहाँ के डिकेयर्स होनी वाइकोली से जब इन and you see very warm, okay, so warm area, warm climate. Let's say prefer going to go there. See, climatic condition on the side, but it differs. Say, like warm condition, warm climate, but what how warm? Let's see. It is more seen. अनि आपको से poor है जिन obviously बहुत सारे मां देखिन सब आते मां छुलो मां सारे नौ देखिन उन्हें ना इन्हें आमी आमी आप फील है पानी आप लोग है जिन maintain करें ना इन्हें पानी से we can be affected कि ना कि it is infected through contaminated foods and all the things. So risk factors are here. ताकि रे से as I already say intestine मां blockages और ना सॉक्सर अनि मां nutrition ना सॉक्सर कि ना कि obviously तो इंटरसेक्ट में ब्लॉक बाय पर ऐसी अंदर एपिटाइट होता ही ना अंदर खाना खाना भी मन लग नहीं ना अन्य तो इसको नाले विलाय को शेप पे नहीं यू नो फॉर ही विलाय न्यूट्रिशन अब्जॉर्ब करते हैं इंटरसेक्ट में विलाय को साइज में नहीं स्मॉल नज़ान सा है ना आफ्टर एस्केरिस एस्केरिस एस्केरियस इस लाइन के साथ के Prevention. There are the points that are some of the best ways to get prevented by getting infected from ascaritis. So let me read out the points first. Uh, the best way to prevent people from getting ascaritis from human or pigs is to always do the following. Avoid ingesting soil that may be contaminated with human or pig feces, including wet human fecal matter, waste water, or pig manure is used to fertilize crops. Wash your hands with soap and water before handling food. Wash your hands with soap and water after touching or handling pigs, cleaning pig pens, or handling pig manure. Teach children the importance of washing hands to prevent infection. Supervise children around pigs, ensure that they do not put unwashed hands in their mouths. Wash feet or take all raw vegetables and fruits before eating, particularly those that have been grown in soil and have been fertilized in manner. So as we, we commonly know, it, uh, as far as this side of uh, obviously poor hygiene, poor hygiene in how much I get in a So obviously, uh, hygiene maintained on my sanitated ground, so you have the best method of preventing it. So these are the same thing, right? Hard to make, how 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 to make, this is the main route through which you invest food in the garden. There is also eggs, larva, and they move with the garden and they move with the garden. They warm and they grow 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 and they grow. और वो आप तो ते हो अब आप फिर मात्र फॉलो करे रहो नहीं वो है ना और वो लेकिन सुपरवाइज कौन करे और लेकिन वो आप भी करे वैसा करो वो आंध्र स्पेशली बहुत सारे लाइक दोस्त लाइक जाइए अब हेल्दी रहने हाइजीनिक रहने के उन्हें होते हैं ना आप फिर लाने आप फिर लाइक आप फिर प्रिवेंट करने में तो ดูดีๆเลยสิ่งที่ทุกคนจะต้องคิดดูดีๆเลยสิ่งที่ทุกคนจะต้องคิดดูดีๆเลยสิ่งที่ทุกคนจะต้องคิดดูดีๆเลย